Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Hope you're having a great week so far. Uh, it's time for your uh, weekly um, health tip or wellness tip here with Dr. Lewis. Um, hope you're having a great day. Hope you're having a great week and I hope you finish strong the rest of this week. So like the title says, I don't want you to let the Kiki Challenge keep you from what's important in life. And what do I mean by that? Well, for those of you who haven't been on the internet, and I'm assuming that you have by watching this video, you've probably seen everybody doing the Kiki Challenge to Drake's in, um, in your feelings, in my feelings. So um, the original videos showed a lot of people who would get out of their moving car while someone in the car would film them as the car is moving forward. And believe it or not, we've started seeing a lot of injuries because people are doing the Kiki Challenge. So first, I don't want you to hurt yourself doing a funny challenge video. So if you decide to do that challenge video, I wanna make sure that you don't hurt yourself. What we're seeing is a lot of soft tissue injuries. And sometimes people say, oh, well, it's just a soft tissue injury, maybe it'll get better on its own. And we found in this office, that's not always the case. So let me show you what I'm talking about. When we're looking at soft tissue, so what does somebody mean when they say soft tissue? We're talking about muscles, tendons, or, or ligaments. Um, muscles, obviously, attach to bone and they move the bones back and forth. Ligaments um, attach bone to bone to keep that joint together, and tendons attach the muscle to the bone so that the muscle can, can actually move the bone. All those look like kind of like this under a microscope. So if we look under a microscope at any soft tissue, a muscle, tendon, or ligament, it looks like this. And it's made up of these crisscrossing fibers, kind of like a lattice framework. And those fibers are made up of collagen. I want you to think of collagen like a rubber band. And normally those fibers work well. When you bend, they'll stretch. And when you go back to neutral, they'll contract. And when you bend to the other way, the other side will stretch. And when you go back to neutral, they'll contract. So it moves back and forth normally. And that works well. But let's say you've been in an incident. Maybe you had a whiplash. Maybe you had a fall. And what can happen is a tear can occur in that muscle, tendon, or ligament. Now, if it tears all the way through, that's where we usually end up in the hospital having some sort of surgery. But if it doesn't tear all the way through, we have a partial thickness tear, sometimes we call that like a sprain, um, uh, we can call that uh, a soft tissue injury, and it doesn't tear all the way through. Well, of course, as you know, the body self-healing is not just gonna leave a hole there, it's gonna, gonna try to fill it in. So the body goes in and lays in what we call granular tissue. And granular tissue is the same stuff that makes up a scab. So anytime you've looked at a scab, that's made up of granular tissue. A similar process occurs inside your body whenever you get a tear in a muscle, tendon, or ligament. Now, when a scab heals and falls off, what's left behind? A scar. And this becomes scar tissue. Now, maybe we've had years later, we had another injury. See this one, it filled up with scar tissue. It stopped hurting as much. We might have feel, might sometimes still feel an ache or a pain there or feel some tightness, but we feel like, hey, we're fine, it's okay. Well, then maybe we lifted something wrong. And instead of tearing the fibers, we push them around a little bit. Or we sat for a long period of time at our desk with poor posture and we start pushing these fibers around in a different form or fashion. The body's still going to lay in some of that scar tissue to try to stabilize that and shore it up, not as much as if we tore it, but now you end up with something that looks like this. And this does not function like this. this. This material now is more fibrotic, so it's not as elastic, so the bones don't move like they're supposed to anymore. That's one of the reasons we become rigid and, and, and more stiff over time after an injury. It's also weaker, it's more prone to tearing, and so it doesn't stabilize the joints, especially like the joints in the spine, like this does. Now, when I'm treating a patient, my goal is to get them as close to back to that again as we can. Now, in most cases, once you've had this injury, you'll never have that again, but there's degrees of good. If a little bit of work is done, a patient can get here. If a little bit more work is done, it can get here. And if you do all the work, you can get right up close to normal again. Some people are surprised, especially when they say, oh, it's just soft tissue, that that process can take up to 24 months, up to two years. Now, that statistic comes straight out of guidance physiology. That's the major physiology text in medical and chiropractic school. That healing process can take the body up to 24 months to get it as good as it's going to be. And so people can be surprised that it, it can take that long in some cases. Now, not to feel better and start to function better, but to get it to its optimal range. 
And the goal isn't just to get back out of pain and get back to doing the things you want to do in life. The goal is to get it as good as it possibly can. And so that process can take time. So the process of healing can take several and even many months, whereas the process of breaking down the tissue can also either take time or it can be instantaneous. Time through the posture-related issues that built up over, over time, or instantaneous, getting in a car wreck or doing a kiki challenge next to your car. So take my warning, if you're gonna do the kiki challenge, leave the car alone, just do it at home, have your friend videotape it, and then you can upload it to Facebook or wherever. I hope you guys have a great week. We'll see you here next week when we talk about our next uh, stage of healing. Hope you have a great day.